You are listening to the Adult Sabbath School Lessons for the third quarter of 2022. This is lesson number 10 of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide in the Crucible with Christ. The lesson is titled Meekness in the Crucible and is ready for teaching on September 3. The author is Pastor Gavin Anthony, who was conference president in Iceland when he wrote this series of lessons. Today, your lesson is read by Dr. Percy Harold. Monday, August 29, Interceding for Grace. Read Exodus chapter 32, verses 1 to 14. What role do we find Moses playing here? Exodus 32, beginning at verse 1. Now, when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods that shall go before us, for as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears, and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold from their hand, and he fashioned it with an engraving tool, and made a moulded calf. Then they said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. So, when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Then they rose early on the next day, offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings, and the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. And the Lord said to Moses, Go, get down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a moulded calf, and worshipped it, and sacrificed to it, and said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, and indeed it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, and I will make of you... A great nation. Then Moses pleaded with the Lord his God and said, Lord God, why does your wrath burn hot against your people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians speak and say, He brought them out to harm them, to kill them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath and relent from this harm to your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self and said to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of I give to your descendants, and they shall inherit it for ever. So the Lord relented from the harm which he said he would do to his people. After the people began worshipping the golden calf, God decided that they had gone too far and announced that he would destroy the people and make Moses a great nation. But rather than taking up God's offer, Moses pleaded for God to show grace to his people. And God relented. Exodus 32, 1-14 raises two important issues. First, God's offer to destroy the rebellious people and bless Moses was a test for him. God wanted Moses to demonstrate just how much compassion he felt for these desperately disobedient people. And Moses passed the test. Like Jesus, he pleaded for mercy for sinners. This reveals something very interesting. Sometimes God also may allow us to face opposition. He might allow us to be in a crucible so that he, we, and the surrounding universe can see how much compassion we have for those who are wayward. What reasons did Moses give for asking the Lord not to destroy Israel? Second, this passage shows that opposition and disobedience is a call to reveal grace. Grace is needed when people least deserve it. But when they least deserve it, also is the time that we feel the least like offering it. But when Moses' sister Miriam was criticising him, he cried out to the Lord to heal him from leprosy, that story we find in Numbers 12. 
When God was angry with Korah and his followers and threatened to destroy them all, Moses fell on his face to plead for their lives. The next day, when Israel grumbled against Moses for the death of the rebels, and God threatened to destroy them all again, Moses fell face down and urged Aaron quickly to make atonement for them all in Numbers chapter 16. In his own meekness, in his own selflessness, in the midst of this crucible, Moses sought grace on behalf of those who certainly didn't deserve it. So to finish the day, think about the people around you who you think are the least deserving of grace. How can you, with meekness and selfless humility, be a revelation of God's grace to them? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.